You may already be feeling the heat. I mean, who isn't? But it's only going to get hotter here in the tri state. And there are a lot of outdoor events scheduled over the next few days. So we're on your side with how to stay safe out there in the heat. Those events include several FC Cincinnati games. And Nine on Your Side's TJ Parker is live for us at Nippert Stadium with how you can prepare. TJ? Well, Julie and Carol, it's one of those days where you start sweating within seconds of coming outside. And I'll show you why this little device here shows the approximate temperature. And on the field here at Nippert Stadium, it says 144. Now, of course, that's a, a guesstimate, and I think it's a little off, but you can see the sun has been on the field for most of the day, and this heat is supposed to stick with us for a several days. Tri-staters are doing what they can to stay cool. The city will sweat over the next several days with it feeling like 100 outside. With a couple of games scheduled this week, FC Cincinnati officials say they're prepared for the high temps. We want to make sure that fans are aware that it's going to be hot and that they should prepare. General Manager and President of FC Cincinnati Jeff Birding says there will be cooling stations for fans who are feeling hot and three fully staffed first aid stations. It's incumbent on us to make sure we do everything we can to be prepared so that they can come to Nippert Stadium, have a great time watching FC Cincinnati. Players are also staying extra hydrated leading up to the games. Athletes aren't the only ones affected by the temperatures, though. Children and the elderly are most prone to heat-related illnesses. Heat illness can be subtle initially and can be very difficult to recover from. Dr. Whitney Bryant recommends if you don't have to be outside, don't. If you do, stay well hydrated, avoiding caffeine and alcohol. I think frequent breaks kind of checking to make sure that they're feeling okay and not pushing it. It can be very, very dangerous. Laura Petrie is with the Southwest Ohio Council on Aging. She says the heat can be especially bad for the elderly. She recommends keeping an eye on them because they might not know how hot it is. A person might even not be fully aware that they are approaching a situation like heat stroke or heat exhaustion. Best advice, just be aware, and if you get too hot, to take it easy. Now, there are some resources if you can't find a cool place to hang out. There are cooling centers across the city. There is also assistance for people with low income. You can find all of this information on our website, WCPO.com. We're live at Nippert Stadium tonight. I'm TJ Parker, 9 on your side.